so you can see here where I shimmed the block. That's a coolant passage normally right there. Yeah. And so you literally buy four sets of feeler gauges off of Amazon or wherever and get the 0.89889 millimeter or something. It's like 0 0.035 inches. Yeah. And you tap it in there, you have to trim them a little bit, and then you get it flush at the top of the block. Because these engines will crack right there in between cylinders because they get a little thin. Yep. Especially if you have a bad tune, get any kind of detonation at all, they're very intolerant of that. Mm -hmm. So the theory at least is that this will stop it. Um, anecdotally, I haven't found anyone that has failed a block that was shimmed. Um, but uh, one guy failed one, but he, his was already compromised apparently. So yeah. I, the only other alternative is to literally machine out all these bores and install these things called dart and sleeves that uh, you take to a machine shop, they have to heat the block and freeze the sleeves and press them in. And it's like, it, it all told you're talking $4,000. And if you pay less than that, that means the shop doesn't know what they're doing. Yeah. And they're not generally reliable for daily drivers because the sleeves will do something called drop. And if they don't machine it right and insert them right, the whole bore will drop down like a millimeter or two. And obviously it's not sealing against the head anymore, so. Yeah. So this is the cheap fix that's not a cheap, cheap fix, but it's better than uh, $4,000, I suppose. Yeah. And, you know, if this one shifts the bed, you can always build up the other motor later with dark sleeves if I feel like cashing in my 401k. <laughs> Some dude in um, Sweden. Does this some dude have a name? <laughs> the company's called Enem, E N E M. Um, they uh, they cost a bunch. And uh, it's kind of like half-assed. Like they didn't have the they didn't have like mark which one was intake and which one was exhaust. Yeah. And the only way you could tell was by uh, uh, fitting the, the sensors for the cam position sensors on the back end here in my right hand. Mm -hmm. Like they're different on the intake and on the exhaust. Yeah. It's like, really? Could oh. just label it. <laughs> yeah, could have just labeled it. Pattern whenever you're tightening down a head, and especially an aluminum head, is spiral pattern starting at the center. If you do like this one and this one, it'll bow, and that's you'll warp the whole head, and you're basically boned. Similar to lug nuts, just a little bit more expensive. <laughs> yeah. Did it click? Yeah, like right there. Yeah, it makes more sense. Yeah, I'm like, uh, this feels like. <laughs> Way too much. Really exciting when I need to get another 120 
you know these things. <laughs> And not just a set Torx bag. Mm -hmm. Tell my boss that I'm done. Had no luck with my mom. Say, what will you do with your life? You know it's hard to survive A cigar in my mouth Maybe guilty but proud Now I'm an outlaw on the run Dangerous but it's so fun Running, running low Hold on, don't let What are you referring to here? <laughs> that thing. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. This is the... Obviously. Yeah, these are the things that let the cam position sensor... It's supposed to look like that. And it's missing. It's nice when you have a completed one here yep. to refer back to. Yeah, so that's the intake side. The blue one is intake. Told my boss that I'm done Had no luck with my mom Say what will you do with your life You know it's hard to survive A cigar in my mouth Maybe guilty but proud